if it is true that God says time is out, I remember the commission. You see that? The commission was that go into the dark world and win souls for Christ. You see that? And not just sitting and eating, 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 eating what? Milk. Do you understand? All the time milk, 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 milk. And the church is perpetually, continuously, constantly, on a daily basis, an infant church. He is not coming for an infant church. Mature church. He says, that church that has risen to the full stature of maturity. In fact, he uses the word mature. You see that? In Greek, telos means grown to full height until you've reached it now. You know. So he's telling the church, step out and evangelize. Get out of the four corners of the walls. Get out. As long as you are there, they will be lying to you. Deception will be there. But when you step out, you go to the marketplace. Marketplace. Stand at the door. Begin to preach the coming of the kingdom of God. Begin to preach the return to holiness and righteousness. Begin to preach the, the cross, the blood and the cross at Calvary. Begin to preach the salvation of our Lord Jesus. You will mature. Hallelujah. Because you will be attacked. You see that? You will be attacked right away. Right away. The city council will arrest you. Show me your permit for preaching here. You are making noise to people here. This person whose stall is next to you says you are becoming a nuisance to why you are chasing away customers of other religions. People will say everything. I know it. I've, I've been preaching the streets. I know what it means. Some look at you and say, whatever happened to this one? All things will be said at you. But the Holy Spirit will sustain you. And he will use that to purify you and refine you like silver. And then test you like gold. You see that? Sin will leave you. You will never ever deliberately choose sin against the Lord. <coughs> Even the love of money. You will never choose it against, against Christ. That is what he meant when he said, my people. It is a church that is evangelizing. They are not sitting and saying, ah, ah, he, he touched my husband. The devil touched my husband again. Ah, he touched my finances again. That is not the church he calls my people. Because the Bible must be fulfilled. James chapter 4 verse 7, you see the mature church. Resist the devil and he will flee. Dr. Ree, listen Dr. War, you are telling us to walk in holiness, but all of us pastors have fallen. It's not just me. What do we do now? The Bible said in the last days there will be evil. That is not my people. You cannot fall because everybody has fallen. Because actually, if you look very carefully, this my people here is a separated church. Amen. Spiritually separated. Amen. Hmm? That church knows how to stage a fight when she's attacked. And those attacks she knows are good for her that she may grow, right? And not to cry. So you, how, how can you as a pastor start crying that the enemy has attacked, attacked your finances, attacked your marriage, attacked your work, attacked your health, attacked your fellowship with other pastors, everything is falling apart in your life, attacked your church, attacked your sheep, attacked everything. How can then 
such a pastor bring deliverance to the sheep? If you are not yet delivered. Is our God a liar? You have to be delivered first. To bring deliverance to others. The word does not lie. That is what he calls my people. I'm talking about the door to the rapture. These are the ones that enter through that door. Oh, you know, these days we are in ministry of repentance. We are preaching. A lot of people are coming to the Lord. But are you entering? Are you yourself entering? That is the question. Are you going to enter? Because you have to live to everything you preach. John 14 verse 1. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. Trust also in me. In my father's house are many rooms. You see that? If they were not so, if it were not so, I would have told you. I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back. Did you hear that? I'll be back, he says. I'll come back and take you to be with, to take you, hallelujah, and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. In other versions they say there are many mansions. Do you hear me? In my father's house there are many mansions. But I like this version here, NIV, that he says there are many rooms. Because Isaiah saw the, the morning dew had come and the morning dew gave them joy unspeakable the morning dew released them from the bondage of sin. No more sin will touch the rapture church. Amen. The morning dew made the church in the image and likeness of God. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 21 to 26 down there. They now wear the glorious body. They have defeated death. They wear the immortal body. The imperishable body, the incorruptible body, they are now wearing the eternal body. They will never be touched by death anymore. No more sin will touch them. No wages of sin will claim them. Isaiah saw. Be joyful. Joy unspeakable. Never again will you die. Because the morning dew has arrived. But enter the rooms now. He saw them entering. And he said, please shut the door behind you. For a little while. For a little while. Until his wrath has passed. Seven years. You see that? During the tribulation. A little while. You see that? Until the wrath has passed. You see that? Because after seven years, Jesus will come back with the raptured church. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Will come back with the raptured church during the second coming of Christ in Jerusalem. You see that? That's why you have to enter the rapture. You must enter. It is a serious call to the people who are carrying the message of repentance that you may identify this. Listen to this. He says, I go to prepare rooms for you. And in those rooms, I'll prepare for each one, mansions in other versions, and then I'll come back to take you so you too may be where? Where I am. That is the rapture. You'll come back in the rapture and take the church. Do you understand? There is so much to teach in the word. You wonder why would the church be teaching corruption of sow a seed here, get you a miracle here? Why? Why would the church be wasting time in teaching uh, healthy living, how to exercise every morning, good for your heart, good for what? 